Can't do anything about it. I can do this. Yep. Pretend I'm tall. I can do this. Pretend I'm, I'm short. even taller. All right. We gotta go. I'm absolutely recording this inside my closet. Today, I cleaned out my closet. It's the first time in probably a couple years that I actually took stuff out and put stuff away and sorted and organized and cleaned. It's a part of that, if nothing else, list. Budgeting, organizing, exercising, and reading. I actually have a little office space, desk space, inside this closet. Here you go. So it's like this. Isn't that a cool little desk? It's so cozy in here. I may never come out of the closet. That was a joke. So I don't know whether you have a closet cleaning thing that you do. It's like where how you organize things. I have to put in put things in certain piles. I usually run across things that I'd forgotten. And I have one of those right here. This was a kind of a life philosophy. How you've responded to what's happened is the foundation of who you are today. Gonna let that sink in just a second. The rest of what I wrote goes like this. You didn't learn to be a piano player in a day. You had to allow the structure of responding to the piano to develop who you became. The bad news is you'll have hard pieces to play. The good news is that one day people will ask you how you became so good at playing the piano. We're not going to get it right the first time. It is very much like learning to play the piano. I started when I was eight years old didn't know how to play the piano, didn't know an F from a C, but they look very similar. It's really easy to look at the things that are happening around us and say that they're happening to us. Life is something that we practice, not something that we perfect. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if you'd like to connect with me on Twitter, it's Brett Q. Smith. It's still recording. Dang it, I did it again.